Stay safe if you can. My people have been telling tales of your accomplishments. Seems you have taken a special interest in our stretch of snow outlander. Yes. And apparently this is the only way I'll get to see all of it. Is this a challenge? For the Warrack. You? <laughs> this must be a joke. It is not a joke, Eratok. The Outlander's your pawn. And with you backing her claim, I have no choice but to accept. I expected better of you, sister. It was you who forbid me from Thunder's drum, brother. Brother and sister? This is a little more complicated than I thought. No, it's simple. You will meet me at the Frost Figures. And I'll put a quick end to this mockery. I suppose I owe you an explanation. Yeah. I suppose you do. So, why didn't you tell me that you and Aratok are siblings? I thought I wouldn't have to. I'm surprised Aratok brought it up in front of a stranger. He must be very angry. Not always the best judge of people. I prefer the company of spirits. They're simply my own. I didn't want you to think of our pilgrimage as some sort of family squabble. It's much more important than that. It's bold, I'll give you that. Going after your own brother. He gave me no choice. He thinks I'm a child to be shoved to the back of the hunt. He would forbid me from my destiny. And yet... Part of me did it knowing he would forgive me, eventually. He always does. Family drama aside, what's this challenge meant to be anyway? You and Aratok will hunt machines at the Frost Figures. The victor will be the fastest. It won't be easy. Nothing about this has been so far. When you meet us at the starting point, I'll tell you more. It will be simpler to explain from the base of the hills. Aurea, it's not about who's related to who. I want to know what's inside Thunder's drum. The spirit, the daemon, and how it all connects to the machines. But if we're gonna go through with this, I need you to be straight with me. I... underestimated you. And Aratak. I won't make that mistake again. See you at the Frost Figures, then. So, off to risk my life in order to take charge of what the new hunting ghost is. Just what I always wanted. Frost figures, here I come. These new cards offer peace to the Banu. None will forget the Red Raids, but... Outlander. I have prevailed over such challenges before, and fear none. But this one is foolish. You are not Banuk. You do not understand my responsibilities. 
I ask you, one hunter to another, withdraw. Will you let us go to Thunderstrom? You haven't seen what's up there, Outlander. I will not risk my sister's life again. Then we better get on with this. So be it! I will bury your insolent claim in the frozen ground! Enough! Let us begin! To hunt! To strive! That is the way of the Banuk and of the contest before you. You will climb the frost figures from the east, Aratok from the west. Each trail wends its way through deadly machines. Hunters from the Werak will be posted along the way. They will hail you, calling out machines for you to slay. Your hunt will take you around the ridge to the center, where you must descend to the valley for your final kill. Each time, after your prey has fallen, you must launch a beacon such as this so that all our kin will see your progress. Kill machines, launch balloons. Got it. So, the first of us to launch the third balloon wins? Well, yes. And as challenger, your path to victory is harder. If even one of your beacons comes in after Aratox, he prevails. <laughs> you had your chance, Outlander. So did you. The hunt begins on my mark. Gotta head up that mountain. Looks like there are a few ways to go up. And those rock paintings mark the path. wasting. up the herd below. Every machine. Kill a herd. Okay. I can do that. Come on! 
on, climb up here. All right, here we go. Now climb the ridge and launch your balloon. Talk knows what he's doing. No time to waste. Take the rappel point to the next challenge. Two bellowbacks ahead, Challenger. Kill them both. None of the other machines matter. Right. Get back. Yeah. your balloon I'm ahead but only by a little I gotta get moving now take the zip line and work your way down to the valley down. All right, it's the last challenge. <laughs> it's 
Something's wrong. My kin should be here, driving in our final quarry. True. Frostclaws from Thunder's Drum. The attack cut short the competition. Naturally, there can be no result. It is void. You saw what she did. She defeated the machines. Not I. It is proven, she is the better hunter. We are Banuk. Survive, prevail. What else matters? My 
blood is in your teeth. I take my place behind you on the hunt. No more hunters may make the ascent to Thunder's drum. The way is closed to all but the chieftain and myself. It is not my place, but I would ask a boon to accompany you and my sister. It might be permitted, but only if you do as I say. No. Only if you do as I say. Thunder's drum awaits. There's a camp at its base, Long Notch it's called. Meet us there when you're ready. Chieftain. I think I saw a new outfit. And a weapon like our talks. I guess the Chieftain gets the Chieftain's gear. And now it's a long notch. Nothing left to keep me from Thunder Strong. Long notch is well stocked, as you asked. And our scouts are watching for more frost claws. Our numbers rise. Three more hunters have passed their trials. But our purpose was to take back the mountain. Now what? Stay prepared. Sharpen your spears. Should we not return, defending the cut falls to you. If our chieftain agrees with his course. Sounds like good advice, but let's hope it doesn't come to that. Chieftain? The weight of command is no small burden. I can see that. I take it you haven't spoken to Araya yet? Why should I? This is what she wanted, to return to Thunder's drum. It is her only care. So I should have known she would find a way to push aside my spear. After the Karja took my sister, not all of her came back. What happened to Araya when she was a captive of the Karja? As a shaman, she's adept with machines. Tracking them, stunning them. The Karja used her to capture them for the Sunring, where they were unleashed upon the innocent. They made her part of their blood sport. The shame she suffered beneath their pitiless sun. She survived. She endured. Endured by reminding herself of the spirit, her purpose. But now that's all she has. Tell me what happened to the first expedition. Rhea led the way to the summit, but it was blocked by a great door, some kind of cauldron, new metal. We tried to break through, but it was unflinching. We were exhausted, no way forward and machines behind. I made the call to push back. It cost us greatly. But to remain would have cost us everything. I had hoped to never subject Araya to that again. What do you think is beyond that door? I do not know. That expanse of metal, that dead hum. Nothing sacred belongs there. Machines and death, that's what the mountain holds. Death for us or for the daemon. And if we do find the spirit, then perhaps we should put it out of its misery. For what it's worth, I'm glad you're coming with me. Someone has to keep Araya safe. I think Meridian is a place where every need is met. No wonder the cards are so good. Never say no to a challenge. Better to die with your... You're voice. Aloy, right? My pop... Burgund, I mean, told me you might be heading up to see me. Varja, pleasure. Hey, that spear is really something. 
You've customized her, haven't you? I've made a change or two. You've got an eye for weapons. I wish these Banuk agreed with you. I can't seem to sell scrap to a Glentalk around here. Everyone wants boring old bows and spears. I like the more unusual stuff. And the Banuk can get unusual. Like that spear Aratok hauls around? An ice rail. Ooh, or that weapon of Araya's? What I wouldn't give to poke around inside one of those. Feel the lightning on my fingers. Or inside of anything, really. Last commission I had was a month ago. A weapon that spat fire. That didn't go well. You think you could improve Aratok's spear? I've never seen a weapon that couldn't be improved by Asram Craft. You know I tried to ask him if I could hold her once? Even offered to improve her for free. How'd that go? How do you think? He just grunted and kept walking. So, let's say someone you know happened to have a weapon like Araya's. You don't! See for yourself. Of course! Look at the... So the coils generate the spark, but the power source isn't even bolted in. I won't lie, she's beautiful. But there's beautiful and then there's beautiful. What we need is a Stormbird Talon. Lightning flows over them like water off a goose. And I know where one is. Hunt it with me, I'll turn that weapon into your new best friend. And second best. You're sure you can fix up this thing? You bet. Probably. Just need that Stormbird Talon. A weapon that spits flame, huh? Like this one? I took this thing off an Osaron bandit. Think you could do anything with it? <laughs> you got my forge fire back? Well, if you took down Olgrid and his goons for this thing, I guess she's yours now. Why don't you finish it for me first? Make it... make her into the weapon she was supposed to be. Thought you'd never ask. I'm gonna need a bellowback snout. Any bellowbacks will do. Can you handle it alone? I think I can manage that. This forge fire of yours... What do you need to finish it up? Like I said, a bellowback snout ought to do it. I'm not picky. So you want to hunt a stormbird? I haven't seen any in the cut. That's right. But one roost back near Freeheat. How about a break from all this white? I'll meet you there. What? People expect you to hike for miles, hunt huge machines alone, and just bring stuff back? Mostly. Not me. I'm fierce. Stand around and talk, or do we have responsibilities to attend to? Beneath has returned to the gun. Outlander. We'll have to war. It would be my honor to speak with you. Inatut has chosen his path. Let the clown share take him. I've heard of you, Huntress. Each of the many verses of your song tells of an impossible victory. The notes echo across the cut. You shouldn't believe everything you hear. Hmm. That I know. My song used to echo around Banur. Omnok, the hunter of legendary machines. That's why I'm here. For another. They call it the Claws Beneath. Or they did when I was younger. Its defeat would have given my song a fine end. Oh, yeah. I used to travel between Banur and the Cut without stopping to sleep. But this trip... My bones ache, Huntress. But you, out hunting Aratak, leading your own Werak. If half your song is true, you are the only hunter I trust to go in my place. You want me to hunt for you? Not just for me, no. For an old friend. You want me to hunt in your place? Is that some kind of Banuk custom? Well, perhaps it should be, but no. We survive and we prevail, until we fail to do either. I confess, this is not easy for me. For any other machine, I would die as I have lived. A Banuk hunter, weapon raised. But too many good lives have been lost to the Claws. Throwing my old corpse atop the pile accomplishes nothing. Better to live in a world without the Claws and to die while it still makes children orphans. 
Sounds like you've got a reputation. To be Banuk is to push your body to its limits. I found my limits higher than most. Fearsome machines needed killing, and in my youth, I found I had a talent for killing them. Even now, my name carries such weight that when the claws beneath re-emerged, the Werak came to me. Do you still have the same faith in yourself that your Werak seems to have? Perhaps I did. Before I held my bow in shaking hands, noticed for the first time the spots on my knuckles. What a strange thing it is to be old. To stare backward and see such distance. But to stare forward at a looming wall. This machine, the claws beneath. Why travel all the way to the cut just to hunt it? Some songs. They include a refrain. The return of a past moment. It seemed fitting. You've hunted this thing before. Must have been twenty winters past. We were so close to bringing the claws to bay. Closer than anyone else ever got. Me? Me. And my friend. He was a chieftain of my Werak then. A skilled hunter. Every few years the claws would emerge in a new location. I knew of two chieftains he'd sent to their burial pyres. My friend became the third. This hunt... I had hoped to complete it in his honor. This is... obviously important to you, Unnak. Are you sure you want someone else to take down this machine? Oh, I am no longer a match for the claws beneath. If I ever was. If I face it, it will kill me. Of this I have no doubt. The Banuk blood in my veins screams at me to take on the claws myself. But I must see it brought down. And dead men see precious little. All right, Umnok. I'll do what I can. I've no doubt you can do quite a lot. The stories say the claws beneath returns here only once every six winters. The whispers I've heard say it now makes its home on the northeast edge of the cut. Hunt well. Sam, you're some It is as thick as the...